Hello, let's talk about the chipset. We're starting with a 4004 Intel CPU. It's a 4-bit CPU and the clock rate is 740 kilohertz. Kilohertz, not megahertz, not gigahertz. Can uh, access 4 kilobytes of ROM and up to 640 bytes of random access memory. Let's talk about the programmable read-only memory. It has 256 bytes of capacity and four I.O. ports. You can use them for input or output. The random access memory has 40 bytes of memory and there are also four output ports. The 4003 is a shift register which is not implemented uh, in this emulator. Let's have a look at the pinouts of the ROM chip. Address and data are transferred in and out by time multiplexing on these four data bus lines. Timing is internally generated using two clock signals, phi1 and phi2, and the sync signal uh, is supplied by the CPU. Here are the four input-output lines. Let's switch to the RAM chip. The same data bus lines. The two clock signals and the sync signal. And four output ports. On the CPU you can find the same uh, multiplex lines, the two clock signals and the sync output port. The memory bank switching is done by these pins. The input test signal corresponds to the test flag in the CPU. Let's switch to the emulator. The program is web-based. You can find the link in the video description. It's written in JavaScript by a Polish guy. I don't know how to pronounce his name. There are three buttons, an emulator, a disassembler and an assembler. Um, let's start with the emulator. This block shows the inner life of a memory chip. And here another memory chip. Here are the input-output ports of the ROM chip, the CPU, the hardware configuration and the content of the ROM. Let's examine the CPU block. Here is a 12-bit program counter. Level 1, 2 and 3 is a stack pointer. A 4-bit accumulator and 16 4-bit registers, numbered from 0 to 15. There are two flags, one carry flag and a test flag. The flag corresponds to the input test signal. Cycles and the next command. You can actually pair two registers. 0p behaves like an 8-bit register. 8-bit register 1p, 2p, 3p, 4p, 5p, 6p and 7p. Let's do an example and load the accumulator. LDM4. Generating the code. Here you find the object code and here the hex code. You have to copy the object code and paste it in the ROM block. Load the program.
program counter 0, hex code D4, which corresponds to LDM4. Step program counter incremented, and the accumulator is 4. I will load the pair register 0. Let's fetch immediate, and let's put the value hexadecimal value 12. Then the third pairing register, and um, the last pairing register, value FF. Resetting the board and programming the problem. Fetch immediate pairing register 0 with number 12. 0, 1, 2, 3 pairing register 3 with value 34. And the last one, FF. From memory access, you have to select the bank, then the chip. For memory access, you have to choose the register, 0 to 3, and then the memory location in the register. It's from 0 to 15. I choose register 2, location 0. We are going to write a value in that memory location. With the value of the accumulator you choose the memory bank. The designate command line will operate the CM rank pins on the CPU. Let's replace LDM with CLB which stands for clear both. It clears the um, accumulator and also the carry flag. The result is the same, it's just another command. Let's specify the memory location in a register pair. The percent is used for binary format. The two most significant bits is used for the chip selection. In this example, chip number one. The next two bits for register selection. Binary 10 equals 2. The next four bits are the location. With SAND register control, we are actually fixing the memory location. Let's enter value in the accumulator and writing to the memory. Oops, well done. Um, I see. Yeah, with SAND register control, um, you have to specify a register pair, in this case, zero. Okay. Pasting the code. Value 4 is in the accumulator and now writing to the memory. And here we can see value 4 is in the right place, bank 0, chip 1. Let's do another example. Let's choose memory bank 1. Load the accumulator with 1. Designate command line. Choose chip 0. And register 0. Position 15. Let's put value 9. Loading the program and resetting the CPU. Check 
checking the results. Um, memory bank 1, chip 0, and here we go, 9 in register 0, location 15. The next example is a memory read. Let's stay with bank 1. Chip 0, but register 3. This is binary 1-1. One, one. And position 8. This is 1, 0, 0, 0. Um, the accumulator, uh, we can uh, remove it. And we're reading the memory. Before reading the memory, let's just change the value directly in memory. Um, register 3 and position 8. Let's put 5 in here. Okay, read memory, step. And in the accumulator you have number 5 now. We haven't talked about the status character yet. Um, it's just normal memory, but you use different commands to access it. Let's choose a bank 0. And uh, chip selection, yes, 0. And register 2, this is 1, 2. And the rest, uh, we don't need it. Because again, we are going, the command we are going to use uh, doesn't take care of it. Loading the accumulator with the value of 3 and writing status register 2. Pasting the commands and we're going to switch back to bank 0. Um, the reset. Write 2. And here we have the value 3 of register 2 and status 2. The command rd and status number reads the memory. Let's try the output ports. Every RAM chip has 4 output ports. We stay with RAM bank 0 and chip selection 0 run. The rest we don't care because there are only um, 4 output ports per RAM chip. Let's put 5 in the accumulator. Write RAM port. The result is 5, 1 and 4 is 5, um, I think the, the labels are wrong. The final test will be the ROM port. The ROM selection is done by the four most significant bits. In the emulator we have only one ROM, let's put 0 as address. You can choose from 0 to 15. Number 7 should be the output. Write ROM port. Overwrite the accumulator with 0. Read ROM port. Let's stop after write ROM port. 
the output is 7. Unfortunately, I can't change the status. Maybe it's a bug or I don't know how to do it. Next step, clearing the accumulator. It's 0 now. And reading the ROM port, which is 7. I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe I will do a second part. Thank you very much and bye bye.